Coming into your basic stance, let's spread out through our toes. Sweep relaxation up through your legs, bend to your knees, tuck your hips into neutral. Lift through your ribcage, shoulders come all the way round and they come into neutral as well. Aligning through your spine, deep breath here. And as you carry on with that beautiful breath, we're gonna bring a wave, a rolling camel movement. So it's a regular camel down and a reverse camel up. Regular down, the reverse on the way back up. If that's tricky for you to do that combination of regular and reverse, you could just stick to one direction. But I like to work with the regular and the reverse because it works the muscles in their muscle pairings more effectively. So it's really great for a warm up. Here we go. Roll down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Slow it down. Roll down and up. Down. And up. If you would like to, you can roll camel all the way down. We're going to step with it to travel. Step, roll down. Step, roll down. So the foot pattern is step, touch. Step, touch. Step, touch. Step, touch. Step, touch. Step, touch. Step. Touch. step touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, nice. We can bring a side camel by utilizing a figure of eight. We're going to be enjoying lots of shimmies to raise our vibrations even higher. We're also going to be enjoying some traveling sequences, really earthy movements, very powerful feminine movements. <laughs> Wow. Everyone looking absolutely gorgeous. Let's go to that regular camel. Reverse. Regular. Reverse. Center. Regular. Reverse. Try to keep your height steady. Regular. Reverse, well done. We're gonna bring the hip out to the side, bring it back, circle it round. Really releasing through low and mid back and also opening up through the hips. So it's such a soothing, releasing movement. It's also strengthening and toning in equal measure. Let's bring the other side. All the way around. We're gonna bring a twist through the waist now. So I want to just to bring a slight bend to your knees. You're in that hip neutral for sure. You're twisting through the waist. You're using your abdominals, the external obliques, and the muscles of the back as well. In the erector spiny in the center of the back. So bring one hip forwards, and at the same time as one hip coming forwards, the other one comes back. Try to keep your upper half facing in center. We can make that a little bit faster. Upper half stays steady. 
Bend through the knees. Hips are in neutral. Activate through pelvic floor. Relax your back. Maybe a bit faster. Make it bigger. <laughs> wow. That was gorgeous. Bringing small circles round through wrists, hands. Oh my goodness me, that was such a beautiful warm up. So already you'd be feeling much more connected to your body, much more open through your joints, warm through muscles. So from here, let's move on. We are gonna, oh my gosh, we are gonna go wild for this. Okay, so let me show you first of all this foot pattern. And this was mentioned in one of our live classes last week. Someone uh, had spoken about, in fact, it was Annie had mentioned how much she really enjoys this movement and often we've danced this together in circle. And so wouldn't it be nice to bring some of those vibes into our online sessions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with a foot pattern, a basic foot pattern that is gonna go with this movement regardless of what we add on top. So um, we're gonna get into the aspect of layering within this movement as well. So first of all, let's just look at that basic foot pattern that we're gonna travel with. You can also do it on the spot if you don't have so much space or you don't quite feel ready yet for traveling with it. So we're gonna take it slowly first of all and then we'll bring it up to speed. Here we go. So we're right in here. So let's say that first of all, our right leg, our right foot is gonna be home, is base, okay? So we're gonna step. It's a flat foot, whole foot stomp, okay? So we're gonna step. Then your left foot, you're gonna travel that forwards and back. It's gonna go like this. So you're gonna come forwards, back. Forwards, back. From the side, forwards, back. Straight forward? Yeah, straight forward enough. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that together. It's gonna go center, forwards, center, back. 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 Yes, well done. Let's try that on the other side for now, just so we can even. I always like to work both sides of the body so that you don't become this one-sided dancer where everything happens here, and that's all great. But when it comes to actually Using this side, it's all kind of, so let's keep it nice and balanced and keep the learning on both sides. So this time, if our left foot is home, we're gonna travel the right foot forwards and back. So this is like you're steadier. So you're gonna stomp on that one. And then the right foot is traveling forwards and back. Yeah? So then we're gonna add that into combination and it's gonna go like so. So we're gonna step forward, step back, step forward, step back, or center, forward, center, back, center, forward, center, back, center, forward, center, back. Center, Center, forward, center, back. Center, forward, center, back. Center, forward, center, back. Nice. So we can work with that at a slightly higher tempo. So let's try that up to speed. Are you ready? Let's try first of all, mm, let's do the first one. Home is your right foot, the left foot traveling forwards and back. Here we go. Ready? 
and center forward, center back, center forward, center back, center forward, center back, center forward, center back, center forward, center back. Already feeling combinations creeping in. <laughs> other way shall we let's give it a go up to speed ready four three two and step forward step back step forward step back center forward center back And then we can begin to travel with it. I'm just gonna talk to you in the mirror there. You can travel with it, taking it out to the side. Let's try the other side, traveling out there. So we're center forward, center back, center forward, center back, center forward, center back. Center, forward, center, back. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm gonna take that back to that last track, which works really nicely with, um, with that combination. And so, as you can see, you can change the size of that movement, the speed of that movement, and you can start to add in layers. So, either working with this nice, Fluid arm looks really lovely. It feels nice too. It brings a nice balance of that kind of almost masculine energy of the um, staccato rhythm beat um, with the feminine fluidity of the softness of arms. Um, so nice, nice pairing, both energetics within uh, that combo. So then the other thing that we can do is we can start to bring in things like maybe a hip hit or the positioning of our hands and arms to really accent one part of the body. So to do something like that, let me just bring this facing towards you for now. So if we did center on the right and the left foot's traveling forwards and back, let me bring this back a little bit. We could bring a hit on the forwards and back motion. So you're bringing your hip up and out. You're gonna pop the hip up and out. As you do that, make sure that you start it off with a really nice bend through your knee so that you're not hyper extending through the knee joint and potentially the hip joint as you do that. Nobody wants to like, ooh, actually I popped my hip a little bit. <laughs> too much, you don't want that to happen. We want to really, really sit down into it. Then look how much more space that gives you to play with. Now remember, you're bringing the hips back and down so you're not compromising the knee joint. So you're there, so you step and then you hit. No hyperextension, just beautiful feeling. Boom, up and out. And then you're gonna come back through center. You maybe don't want to accent that one, um, just bring it into neutral and then on the other side as you step back You're going to continue through with that movement and pop the hip up at the back So let's bring it into center. You can kind of sway your hips like this So if we just take that motion there Swaying the hips up one side Woo Woo the other side Meow <laughs> There's that feline energy again, isn't it? One side, the other side. Here we go. Center, forwards, center, back. Center, forwards, center, back. 
center forward center back center forward center back well done well done should we try that on the other side now so you might find that one side feels a little bit more natural than the other one side feels just generally a bit easier i'd encourage you to practice on both sides but almost practice a little bit more on the side that feels trickier and eventually they most likely will start to level up where they both feel awesome that's the theory anyway <laughs> let's try the other side so this time your left foot is going to be home so i got a little bit of mirroring going on here so perhaps i'll step back first as you step forwards so you're going to step on your left foot forwards left step back left forwards left step back so you got center forwards center back center forwards and then you could bring in that rocking hip motion or should we try the let's try the pop of the hip first center back center forwards center back center forwards center back Try make sure that you've not come into that hyperextension through your back and you don't creep into an anterior tilt of your pelvis. So you're really active through your pelvic floor muscles to keep you there. Let's try now that smooth, fluid, rocking motion of hips. <laughs> it feels really nice, doesn't it? It feels really soothing. Whoa. <laughs> you could travel with that. Wow, bring that into center. Amazing. Help yourself to some hydration if you would like some there. That was a really, really nice movement to do. And of course, what we did as we first moved into that, I found myself coming into a little bit of Egyptian walk with it. So what you got there is that triplet movement, one side then the other. It's a chasing triplet, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then when you layer that on top, three, one, two, 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 three. Just working with that foot pattern. The other thing you can do with that is you can bring it up onto toes a little bit and it feels really beautiful. Suddenly it takes on this very elegant, graceful, um, upwards, skywards element. Very popular in American um, cabaret style, but also Lebanese, um, oriental. Whereas down on the flat foot, it's really grounded, it's earthy, traditional, folkloric. Yes, let's keep that alive too. All right, so let's move on then. And let's have a little a look at another traveling step. And then we're gonna have some fun with shimmies. So I'm just gonna change up this track for now. One second, one second. Hopefully I can find what I'm after. Yay. So, 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 this next step, we're going to be doing a little bit of what we did um, in the beginning section there where we did step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, and step, tap. Now, this is a really classic belly dance traveling um, foot pattern but the arms, when you combine these arms with it, it's really, it's a classic. Okay, quite literally, it comes from the classic. Um, <laughs> okay, so with that step, tap, step, tap, what we're gonna do is bring in an arm combination, which I haven't done in a long, long time. And I was like, oh my God, yeah, where has this been? So what you've got is, often we use this L-shaped arm in belly dance, yeah? L-shaped arm, one arm is out to the front and one arm is up to the sky or you have the reverse here, yeah, all good. 
So we're going to be working with that. Another thing that you have oftentimes is the circular motion of hands. So imagine like you're <laughs> riding a bike with your hands, only you're going in reverse. Does that make sense? Best thing I could think of. <laughs> the best, best analogy I could think of in, in the moment. Um, <laughs> so you're kind of, you're here. So you've got through your hands, let's have a look at the fingers and what they are doing. So finger, you've got your hands out in front, you're going to dip through this middle finger, create this elegant V shape with your fingers. The thumb you can bring in towards your hand if you don't want that kind of extra appearance there. You can create those clean lines, just literally bring your thumb close to your um, index finger. So that's what we're doing through the, the hands. The arms are soft all the way through. And so you're riding <laughs> that bike in the sky with your hands there and you're going in reverse. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make that circle bigger. So as you do that, you're going to flex through your wrist on that low down section and then you're going to round through your wrist as you come upwards. Flex through the wrist and round, flex through the wrist and round. So just before one arm finishes the circle, the next one goes. So there is a continuing loop, it's a continuing loop. And we're going to make that circle a bit bigger now. So instead of having it really in here, we're going to make it big, 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 big. Big. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to round off the lower section of that circle so that it's flat. So you're here and you push it outwards. So rather than coming all the way down like this and round, you're going to flatten off that bottom edge and you're just going to push your hand out level. So you're going to come in here. So imagine bringing your hands like you're going to do a push up. Your hands are coming in here and then you're going to gently push your wrist away, push your wrist away and then flex and then bring it all the way up. And then again, so we can make that movement there, flattened out the edge. And the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to bring your hand up towards the back of your head. And you're just going to be, imagine that you're brushing your hair. Imagine that you're just brushing your hair. And somehow whenever I do that, I feel like I'm not just brushing my hair, I'm a very elegant lady from probably about the 1920s or 30s or something and, I, and I'm sitting at my, in my, I'm in my powder room and I'm sitting at my little, um, what's that called? I'm in my boudoir and I'm, what's that called again? Like I'm at my vanity station, whatever it's called, I forget the name. Anyway. I think that just helps really set the scene and you're kind of, oh, see what your hair is like. See what your hair is like on this side. Oh, oh yes. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's very Marilyn Monroe kind of. And so you can use that movement to really frame your face and you're sort of saying to your audience, oh, here's, here's my face, my very beautiful face. You know, it's kind of, it's right. Um, expressive. It's very expressive. And so at the same time as that, what you're doing is you have got step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Sounds like a lot to do all at once. Is it one of these ones perhaps? <laughs> it is a bit like that. It is a bit like that. I'm just going to tell you that. It's, I'm just being straight up. <laughs> It's a combination, um, a confusion infusion, Marge would call it. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you could simplify it and place one hand on the back of your head. So you've paused brushing your hair and the other hand out in front. So this is your marker. This is like poise, ready. So you're going to tap your foot down. And then as you step, you're going to begin to roll that movement and then you're going to tap and then you're going to step as your hands are moving, moving through the step, tap, 
that was like more, more like a full-on stump there <laughs> for me. Okay, let's try that again. So we're here. So we're going to bring our hand towards the back of our head. We've paused brushing our hair. One hand is out. We're going to tap. That's your starting position there. Ready. And we're going to step, tap, step and tap, step and tap and step and tap. Well done, let's pop some music on. So in my head, this one worked quite well. Four, three, two, and step, tap, step, <laughs> tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap. tap. Step, tap, 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 step, tap. You could add a hit, tap, step, tap, step, tap. Step, tap, 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 step, tap. Wow, that was absolutely amazing. Well done. It's a tricky combo, but you did really well. So let's then come into center. We're going to enjoy a shimmy. Woohoo! Because who doesn't love a shimmy? I thought it would be a nice way to finish off tonight. And we're going to use a little bit of this classic. Whoa! a figure of eight. I've got an itchy nose suddenly. Get ready.
Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, <laughs> step, touch, step, hello. <laughs> touch, step, touch, step, touch, <laughs> step, touch. Shoot you. <laughs> Everyone's like, whoa, thank goodness for that. Up to shoulders, down to hips. Single leg. So we did that single hip circle in the last session. You bring a little bit of that. Internalize single hip. Try the other side. If you need a little bit of a refresher of that one, you'll find it coming up on our YouTube playlist. Lengthening out through waves. Hips are in neutral, bring it back into center. Other side. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, back into center. enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe and hit notifications so you can be informed of when the next video goes up if you'd like to support the creation of these videos remember you can head along to patreon.com forward slash little egypt studio where you'll find a community of other enjoyers of these videos <laughs> see you soon bye